These are the top 4 best methods on how to grind gems on anime defenders. We will be going in depth on all these different methods. And we'll also be going from the worst method to the very, very best method possible on how to gain you thousands of gems per minute. And now for the first but worst way to grind, but remember to watch this full video because you can combine all these methods into one and gain millions of gems easily. Okay, so for the first method, it's just do your quest. You get quests every 24 hours I can do. And if you do every single quest, you can gain over 1,175 gems each time. And then you'll also gain different items. Like you can gain the energy crystal, the trait crystal, and something like the risky dice. But you can also get more things. And then past that, you can also do the weekly ones. The weekly ones are slightly harder. But you have the whole week to get them, and if you do all of them, you can gain up to 3,640 for doing all your daily quests. That's the first method. It's like a solid 5 out of 10 since you can easily do those as you're doing the other methods since most of them are pretty easy. And for the second method, which is the third best, it's profit trading. This one's pretty hard to do and it does take a lot of time that's why it's pretty low down on the list but you also can make a lot from this so basically what you do is server hop to different servers look through all the different things and if any of these are really good for a really low price you can buy them and flip it for even more money like just as an example so let's say this ant king is worth forty thousand diamonds but this guy's selling it for 25 you could buy it sell it to someone else for 40,000 and then boom you've already made an extra 15,000 gems which you can use those gems to make even more gems in the future. This can make you a lot of gems but it's hard to know like the values and find people that don't really know values that you can get cheap units from. Overall I rate this like a 6 or a 7 out of 10 not the best method but still decent and you can make a lot of gems if you know how to do it. For the third and second best method, you will need to download something, but it's pretty easy. Sadly, you can only use this method on PC. What you have to do is go to Google, search up tiny task. This is like a pretty popular one. Press the first link. That's the one I use. You will have to download it. I have installed too because it is trustworthy and like millions and I mean millions of people use this. So it's pretty trustworthy. If you have tiny task downloaded, go into your play games. Start off at your highest chapter you can, press confirm to actually start it. And once you start it, make sure you get into a good place because if you move like your camera around at all, it will mess it up. So press record and just play the game how you normally would. You can have auto skip on or off depending on how good your units are. And once you have enough to afford either a really good unit or even your best unit, place it down in a good spot and make sure you upgrade it. Any task records every single mouse click and movement that you do, so it'll keep doing the same thing for each level. So even when you go to sell things they don't want anymore, it still records that no matter what you do. And make sure you record your whole entire game, like the whole round, then you can stop recording. But also remember when you go to upgrade it, press it like two or three times, even if you don't have enough money, but as you go through, you get more money per round and you have more to spend. And as you can see, I just got my first unit maxed out. So I'm going to go here, place another of the same or better unit. I like to place it just right next to it. So if you're feeling really confident, you can also do this with infinite mode. I just don't really like using infinite mode. Okay, guys. And once you're done with that round, remember to press play again and then go back to the macro and end it. But guys, this one step is very important. Make sure you go to prefixes and press continuous playback so then it keeps going all the way throughout the night. Now let's go on to the best method to grind gems and anime defenders. Okay guys, and this method is using the AFK zone. And this is one of the better methods since if you use the tiny tax slash macro method, you could potentially get banned for macroing. Because I know they've been trying to make sure that you can't do that anymore. But this is a really good way. Guys, three main ways why these are really good. One, it's very consistent. You get four gems every minute and 30 seconds, which yeah, I get isn't that good. But once again, there's no chance of getting banned such kick. And you can also use multiple accounts. Obviously, you have to grind them a little bit to get them to level 10, or else you will get minus 50% of your gen drops. If you use multiple accounts like other YouTubers have been using, just make sure you have, you can use Tiny Task, record, 
and let's just say you have all your accounts like let's say you have five different accounts the five different tabs open right here just click 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 on all five accounts go right here end it and remember prefixes to turn on continuous playback and that means you'll be gaining let's just say you're only using five accounts which you can go on as many accounts as you want some people even go up to 30 accounts but most pcs can't run 30 accounts so let's just say you're doing five accounts from like the very minimum like seven thousand every single night but let's just say you either have vip or premium on some of these accounts you can be gaining upwards of twenty thousand gems every single night just from afking that's just if you sleep only eight hours and some people sleep up to like 12. i know i sometimes sleep 12 hours okay guys and those are the top four best methods on how to gain gems and animated vendors but before we end the video if you're wondering who won the $25 Robux gift card that I gave away in last video, the user that won will be on screen. Their name is Solar, and here's the proof of me giving them the Robux, and then they also vouch me in the Discord. And if you want to join the Discord, the link will be down in the description. We do giveaways every now and then, but there will be more soon for Anime Defenders. So yeah, guys, this is the end of the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and YouTube really recommends these two videos on screen. So yeah, hope you have, hope you have a good day.